You break down that differential. I know you gave yes, it to us. Yep, I will break it down. I'm just going to read right off of here so I don't get anything okay. wrong. Can though, okay, can you give it to us line by line so we I can will. now add this and make sure what yep. we have in our book corresponds with where they ended up? Yep, and I can probably even tell you what page it is on your OBS if you'd like at the same Please. time. Would that help? Yes. Okay, let me find the right page for us first. It's under municipal insurance, the first two changes. Yep. And I will read the whole account number for you. It's uh, on page. OBS. Oh, I'm sorry. I said OBS I would say 7. That. OBS 7. Okay. It's account uh, the three zeros and then 41961-5200. It's liability and general insurance. Uh -huh. The new amount is $430,550. you want me to give you all the lines first, and then I can go back and tell you how I came to those numbers so that we don't get confused? Yeah, I think what well, as prefer? long as we can plug the numbers in okay. to the appropriate lines while we're here okay while it's being recorded. the next one is also in that same section okay. it's four one nine six nine two six zero zero and it's workers compensation uh -huh. and the new amount is or the adjusted amount is five hundred and seventy seven thousand eight hundred and twenty nine dollars just right. the, happens to be the same number as the default budget yeah. yes it is mm -hmm. that is a good point it is the same number as the default budget yes and then let me find where the next one is. The next one is under public work, so it's going to be down a little bit. Let me just find the right page for you. Uh, before we move on, uh, why don't we uh, total the municipal insurance while we're there at Christie? I can do that for you. You got it right here at your fingertips. Yep, I have it uh -huh. right here. Mm -hmm. And we can do general government too, please. Okay. OBS 7, let's see, municipal insurance is uh, $3,949,269. Okay. I'll give everyone a chance to write it and then I'll. And then that brings general government down to? $9,225,325. Mm -hmm. Christy, the municipal insurance I'm looking at the spreadsheet that you included with the default budget. Yes. The municipal insurance reads uh, 39.49.133 on the default. Why is the proposed different than the default? Let's see. The total line, you mean? Um, let's see where the difference is there. That's a good question. Because um, when the budget was made, I have an answer for you. Okay. When the budget was made, I'm confident of that. <laughs> when we were uh, when we were making the budget, we had to do on the NHMA dues line. If you look at that line, it's seventeen thousand one sixty-two. Yes. We didn't actually have the figure when we called at that point. They had said that they were expecting about a five percent increase. Since then, we've actually gotten the bill, and the amount is seventeen thousand and twenty-seven dollars. Mm -hmm. So therefore, that is the amount that was put into the default. Because that's the amount that we will be paying for dues. Seventeen oh twenty seven. Yes. Okay, so that, that was another change. That number, that's another change. Yeah, so one okay. was proposed, and that's the actual. Correct. Okay, yeah. so the so that should that line the fifty six hundred should change to seventeen thousand oh seven oh twenty seven, which would then make the new total. It would equal the default budget somehow. Yes. Yeah, correct. Yeah, if we, as a committee, make the motion. To right, the board the did not shoot change. Did not change that number. <coughs> if the budget committee would like to change that number. So you make a motion, Stephen, and someone will no doubt second it. Okay, I make a motion that we change that number, um, fifty six hundred NHMA dues, to the new number seventeen thousand twenty seven dollars, and that would go under the bud common deliberative column I, which will then bring the total to the number that you see under the default, uh, column J, which is $3,949,133. Wait a minute. A few minutes ago. I had 269. I had 269. She just read it up. Mm. Yeah, well, that was the proposed. The default is what he just read. 
I understand, but he said it'd be the same. It will be. No, that, 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 for the budget will committee column, same. he's talking now about. Now it makes it the same. Okay. Can I try to rephrase what is it? If you would, please. <laughs> Legally speaking, the only thing that goes on the warrant or the actual line, not the sub lines, right? Yes. So I'm going to change, make a motion to change uh, account 4196, which is called municipal insurance, mm -hmm. and move that to be. Three million nine hundred forty nine thousand one hundred thirty three dollars. I'll second it. I, I will remove my I'll remove go. my original motion and second your motion. motion. How's that? Less detail. Yes, yeah. thank you, Tim. Thank okay. you. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't think that needs discussion. All those in favor? So. Right. Opposed on that just changing those numbers so that they correspond both columns. So which which one is the correct number that we knew the new the new proposed budget number for, for that municipal section. insurance mm -hmm. is Three million nine hundred forty-nine thousand one hundred and thirty-three bucks, which matches the default. I understand that. It's yeah. supposed to match. I have no problem with that part. Well, that is the new number. I understand that. The proposed that part. budget should the number should be the same as the default. I agree with that. I'm not debating. Right. I'm just trying to figure out how you came up with that number. That's how we did the number it. by force fitting it. Oh, okay. No, I know what he's saying. <laughs> we added it up. No, well, no. Christy gave us three million nine hundred forty nine thousand two hundred and sixty nine dollars we just so, changed it well we just changed it but which one are you giving us the 133 or the 216 uh, 133 it now comes Tim motion they made is it's now 133 I know that that's the motion he made he made I made trying, a motion I'm to change the end and I'm trying, trying to sort that. out the number that Christy gave us right. versus I was the, giving you the number that was the Board of Selectmen's budget, because I wasn't talking about the default. Then Tim pointed out that the default was different, asked why. I'm, I'm lost, Christy. Okay. All right. When you said a total of the municipal insurance, you were still talking about the number under the default, the new numbers. And you gave us three million. Anybody got a calculator to add up what I, that is? I, I, well, I thought we were talking about the Board of Selectmen's budget, so I apologize. I no, the Board when of I gave you the Yeah, first the Board number. is we're not. I understand that the numbers that are in the default budget are also the same in the Board of Selectmen's budget. They weren't. No. They that's weren't. The point. They weren't. Some so of which one items, is different? Some of, the, some of these line items are out of sync relative to the Board of Selectmen's votes. See, this All, is what this last right motion here. did was make the municipal insurance line item synchronize with the uh, most recent Board of Selectmen's vote on both the proposed and the default yeah. budget. I added up all I the line items and they come out to that number. Yes. They do 133? Yeah. Yes. 133? Okay. okay. So the 269 is right? in error. Oh, you want to modify one Eileen, one? to answer your question, the line that changed was the NHMA dues. That's where the difference was. Right. That's right. all I was trying to explain. But I'm seeing that on the default side. You are. Okay. I was just going with what you gave as the end of 269, which was not the end of the column on the municipal insurance on the BOS. Mike, I know what where you were. Okay. Oh, so we voted. In, in what was, what was right, we're vote? done. We're done with that. We're done with it. Okay. Can I make another motion, please? If I may make a point of information, just to sort of all of here. Here. Okay. <laughs> all we are doing, all we can do, is change line items, not subline items. So changing subline items don't mean anything, except to the extent that they affect the line item. I disagree with you in this mm -hmm. case. Is are these fixed now? These numbers are they still in flux? They are. In Christie's insurance, I didn't say insurance about number being fixed. No, why don't you let me finish, Tim? Because I wasn't allowed to finish. <laughs> it's quarter of eight, guys. Yeah, it's exactly. We're not going to be here two no, days. Let's not do this. Please. All right, Christie. On these numbers, on the insurance numbers, yes, which was going to be my answer. question as we went along, are these final numbers? We are not going to have all of our quotes and all of our final numbers back in time we probably won't even have them back by deliberative if we do have them back by deliberative then we will make them known so what we have done and i explained it in the memo and i can explain it now if you'd like oh, me to. i understand so what we did is we had at the time when i put this together for the board of selectmen we had received one quote um insurance quote back from one vendor so what we did with that quote is we took the quote and we added 25 percent to the quote the reason that we added the 25 percent to the quote is because, first of all, we did not have a side-by-side -side when they came in to present their, they were just in like right before Christmas, I believe, or right after. I think it was right the week after Christmas, between Christmas and New Year's. When they were in, 
they could not give us a side-by-side -side comparison to see, make sh to guarantee us that they were giving us all of the exact same coverage that we have with PLT. So Fred and I discussed it, and based on the fact that we do not know for the quote isn't firm because we don't know if it has all of the coverage, nor do we know um, we have to get a cost for tail coverage to cover um, incidents between the coverage types could be different um, occurrence and claims based and based on that we don't have that cost of that coverage either they have to get back to us with that so with those two things to take into consideration and having to bring forward a budget and a default budget we like I said took the quote and added 25% to both of those lines have they been given a deadline of sorts to get to us before deliberative session um, we have, um, I don't know if we gave, do we give them an official deadline? I mean, I know they're working on it, but I don't know. Told yeah, I believe that they do know that they need okay. to get back to us. So my point being on this, these are estimates or guesstimates, if you want to put it that way. They are not fixed numbers. That's they right. are not definite, but they will, ch they're a non-issue of sorts because they will change on both sides of the equation. The only difference is whether or not they change before deliberative. We strongly hope they do. We were hoping to have it be so that we could change that your public hearing, but that isn't looking like that it's going to happen. So Fred is right. We did express to them when the deliberative is so that it could be changed on the floor of the deliberative. Okay. And I'm, I talk to them almost daily, especially. And usually I don't care about the sub line items in that great a detail except that for the sake of us tracking the numbers as we're sitting there at deliberative I feel it's important that we get them right in this particular section because these are not final numbers. Thank you.